Good morning. Good morning. This Mass is being streamed live, and for those of you who are joining us from home, welcome. We're glad you could be with us this morning. Today's Mass intentions are for Kyle Anthony Midkiff. And today also I'd like to celebrate this Mass for the couple who are celebrating their 21st anniversary of their wedding. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God. And to you, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through, through my fault, fault through, through my fault, fault through, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Virgin Mary, ever Virgin, ever Virgin, all the, all the angels, angels and saints, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to the lasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promised, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ by the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, with all those everywhere who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will I praise, praise your name forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. I, I will praise, praise your name forever, Lord. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. I will, I will praise, praise your name forever, Lord. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. <coughs> alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour of the night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake 
and not let his house be broken into. So too, you must be prepared for the hour you do not know or expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful, prudent servant whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is long delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Friends, today the first reading reminds us all about our relationship. Paul and Sostenus, they, they show their relationship they have. And Paul is aware about Sostenus that uh, I've been a good example to you. And I've come to learn that we have come to know the presence of Jesus in your journey of life. And he is so praiseful to see sustenance the way they have been together in connection. Today, I want to share with you this story. David was a CEO in one of the companies here in the United States. And he used to travel along the whole world from different places as a CEO to make sure that his company is so active and they can sell everything throughout the world. One day he was diagnosed with cancer and he was asked not to travel long distance to remain in the United States. And one day he said, for the whole time I've been engaging myself as CEO, I've come to notice that I didn't have much time to stay away, awake and to know myself who I am and even to know those people who are around myself. Now I understand because now I have more time to pray for myself and also to pray for others. I've come to know that God has given me this moment to have this good relationship with others, to acknowledge that my weakness is no longer weakness, but a strength, the power to accept who I am. I'm not even thinking that why God has put me in this situation, but I praise God has brought me to this situation so that I can save him I can, I, I can love him, and I can embrace him. Today's gospel reminds us to stay awake. What does it mean? This morning, Bridget said, how are you doing, Father Damon? I said, I'm doing fine. And I started asking myself, why is she asking me that? She's asking me that to remind me to stay awake, to know around myself. To be thankful that I have another day. To be thankful for the gift of faith and for the gift of life. To continue to know that God wants me to continue to serve him and to serve others. But to acknowledge that each day is a moment of grace. Each day is the moment of bringing us together. And each day is the moment to remind us like Paul and Sostenus, with love and peace, we can save one another. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful day, and we thank you for allowing us always to ponder in our journey of life. And for this, we pray. 
like St. Paul and Sostenius. We acknowledge that each day you have given us these people to remind each other so that we can save one another and even to bring all of us together to you. And for this we pray. For those who have lost their faith, Lord, we pray for them so that they can continue to be united with your love and care. And for this, we pray. For those who are celebrating their anniversary today, Lord, give them strength always to continue to acknowledge that they are not perfect, but always they continue to focus on their journey of life. And for this, we pray. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for the past 50 years. Your grace and spirit have enabled our parish to proclaim the world, celebrate the Eucharist, and save our local community. In thanksgiving, we pray for all those parishioners who set the parish foundation, and for all those who throughout the years have joined us in our mission in our celebrations, all oh, have sought our help. Please continue to pour out your Holy Spirit upon us so that we will always be missionary disciples who are joyful expressions of your Son within our parish and into our community. We boldly proclaim that Jesus is alive in our parish, welcoming the lost and leading us all to new life in him. We ask thee through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will come our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, you are worthy through whom you made all things, whom you sent us, our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endures his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we are claim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body 
and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the choice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Kylie Anthony Mitkiff, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hall for the resurrection, and all have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from it. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil, precious, grand peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. peace be.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, says the Lord, and I will raise him up on the last day. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. On behalf of Dick and Jim, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online, also I say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. Stay awake. That's the message of today. What does it mean to me today as I go after this mass?
stay awake. Be aware of your environment. Be aware of those people whom you are going to encounter with. And be aware of the presence of the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks to you.